St. John's County district leaders are running into a transportation problem. They're trying to figure out how students can ride buses and still follow CDC guidelines. News for Jack supporter Corley Peel is joining us live. And Corley, the district says big money is on the line here. The district says it already struggles with funding costs for buses, so making sure that students are staying apart would be expensive and they would have to bring in even more buses. So because of this, they're now requiring students to wear masks on the bus. Rounded school buses are something many school districts face each year. This year, school districts are working to find out how they can make transportation safe during the COVID-19 pandemic. If we were try to try to make accommodations to socially distance on our, our buses, it would cost us an exponential amount of money. St. John's County School Board Chair Beverly Slough says transportation in the district is only funded 60 percent. We transport about 60 kids on a bus in the morning, but if we were to have to make accommodations for social distancing, those numbers of students would be cut in half, which would require many more buses, many more drivers, double runs, all kinds of things. Since it would be difficult to keep students six feet apart, the district says the best solution is to make sure every student is wearing a mask on the bus. Slau says their goal is to make sure students keep their masks on. It will be a sort of a work in progress in order to, to get um, compliance with kids in that way, but for their safety, it's worth the effort. Slough says that teachers return to school in three and a half weeks. She says this is a fluid process and they will make sure they make the best decisions for the students. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station. So let's take you county by county as we look at the districts and the questions from parents around our area. Staying in St. John's County, teachers say the state's mandate leaves them with more questions than answers. Superintendent Forsen is reworking the reopening plan that he was set to unveil yesterday. He says district leaders are working on how to make sure the teacher workload isn't overwhelming. News 4 Jax asked Forsen how the district will handle a positive COVID-19 case. He says the process will begin with contact tracing and immediate sanitation. It's exhausting for everybody in the field to tell you the truth because the emotional part and just the unknown is what is a killer. In Duval County, school board members this morning finished up a six hour marathon of public comments as leaders work toward a reopening plan. District leaders were set to unveil a hybrid plan with in person classes and virtual lessons. And News for Jacks asked if teachers who have to give in person instruction will receive hazard pay and what protocols will be in place if a teacher or student tests positive. The school district told us they're in the process of modifying plans and they don't have answers yet. Parents. Your voice is what matters right now. I encourage every stakeholder in public education and in charter schools, because they're under the same order, to speak out now. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Don't wait until August. It's hard not being able to make plans and constantly have it on your mind and not being able to be settled with anything. The plan is also causing concern for leaders in Clay County. District leaders could release an updated reopening plan as soon as tomorrow. Parents are sounding off. In the News 4 Clay County Facebook group, many support the reopening of schools. Others say they plan to keep their kids home. And we also talked to parents in Nassau County, where the plan for reopening schools has not yet been revealed. And News for Jacks talked with parents visiting the area from other states. And they said they expect to see kids return to the classroom full time in the fall. We kind of hope they will go back. Uh, I believe they'll they'll uh, take adequate precautions uh, with the kids. Uh, so we feel OK if they, they go back. I feel safe. I feel like our school district in Colorado has done a wonderful job making sure that everybody is you know safe. They've gone through a lot of protocols. They've asked parents for their opinion, and I think they're doing a great job. So I feel 100 percent safe with my kids going back. As districts and families consider their options, let News4Jacks.com be a resource for making an informed decision. Right now, on our Facing the Fall section, hear from some parents considering an all-virtual learning plan for their children when the school year begins and how they plan to make sure it's effective. That's at News4Jacks.com slash Facing the Fall. And while you're there, don't forget to use the link on the right side of the page to sign up for our newsletter.